with these um, Cotswold charity shops, they had very, very few large sizes. If you're over 14, probably not even worth bothering walking through the doors. Um, they were also expensive, but they did have some very nice stuff. So if you are a size 14 or lower, definitely worth a visit. Some lovely cafes. I had some gorgeous rhubarb crumble cake. This was Sam's. Thought that skirt was stunning. Too small for me. These Sam's um, charity shops were set up by a family whose child died of leukemia. Stow on the Wold, another stunning Cotswold town. Beautiful historic buildings. Charming setting. Again, no large sizes and very high prices. Look at that. You see, could you, you could use it for a film backdrop so easily. Another Sands. very serious. Morton on the Marsh as well and didn't buy anything at all in any of these shops. Enjoyed the looking. <laughs> Loved those but way too small they'd have gone with my green spotty top. Look at that, so pretty. That was interesting. So I'm back in Sirencester, but this time it's a lot warmer and the sun is shining in between the clouds. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful city, um, Roman originally and full of historic buildings. There's some gorgeous shops and pubs and cafes and, and of course some wonderful churches. So, come with us on our day out. This is a conclusion of our Cotswold adventure. Um, so, you can come with us and see what you think. Siren is a different kettle of fish. Much more reasonable prices. Many, many more shops. Plenty of large sizes. This shop was just stunning. The people that look after this shop have done such a good job. It's interesting, eclectic, amazing. It's an absolute pleasure just to, to wander around. The changing room was just filled with vintage mirrors. Busy, busy little town. Lots of bright summery colours. Quite 
easy to fall in love with this city. It's, I'm not sure whether it's city or town. I can't quite make up my mind, but it's it's got such a lot to offer. Join our reuse revolution. We like that. This again, a little sort of comment on British sizing. You just can't check things by the size that's on the hanger. You know, literally, I mean, I bought things between size 14 and size 26 and 28, you know, even 30 to, to get things that fit. Some things are just, you just can't tell. You just can't tell. Um, still, there are some that don't let you try things on. So it does, it is a little difficult, but it just means that I've got to put them on vintage. I thought these were fabulous. So 80s. I liked that very much, but not big enough for me. <laughs> Beautiful little ram. Some lovely statuettes and sculptures and things around this town. Gorgeous. So, first outfit. Um, I picked up this necklace last time and didn't have anything really for it to go with. So, was quite delighted to find a skirt that had exactly all the same colours that were in the necklace. Um, and it worked. Very relaxed, easy, comfortable outfit. These are the red shoes that I bought before in Exmouth. Um, it's a little chiffony skirt by Joanna Hope. Um, I thought it was uh, nice and summery. Um, and it cost me £3.99 from the British Heart Foundation. It's pretty. Very, very pretty. This outfit I actually thought looked a lot better on than, I, than now I see it on the film. Um, it's sort of really cute, like 1940s style, and I found these beautiful little suede shoes to go with it. And I was really delighted on, with it, but looking at it on here, it doesn't look as as cute as I thought. Um, but it's still a really cute little dress. Um, it was £8.99. Um, and it's called Special Collection. And it's a size 20. The cardigan I've had before, it's the Emmanuel one. Um, I'm just a bit sad though because I thought it looked really, really sweet on, but maybe it doesn't. But hey, you know, you can't win them all. They can't all be absolute winners. Um, so there we go. These shoes were probably the prettiest thing that I've seen in a very long time. Um, I thought they were really del delicious. Uh, they were five pounds from the Helen and Douglas house. They're a Unisa, U-N-I-S-A. Little suede flowers on the front, little chunky heels, so cute. I thought they matched the dress beautifully. Oh, look, there's a, the roses on the shoes. A little close up there. Here's the next outfit. I thought this was very 1980s. Almost felt I needed pixie boots with it. Um, it's very soft cotton, covered in ferns. Sorry for the label hanging out the back. Um, it's from the children's hospice. It cost me five pounds. And um, with the green snake skinny platform shoes, which were from the RSPCA, their new look, they were five pounds. Um, I stuck my Silver Hearts jewellery on with it. It's a very relaxed summer day, just hanging around kind of outfit. Nice big pockets, comfortable, comfortable, easy peasy. Sometimes we just need relaxy, relaxy type clothes. Can't always be dressed up. Um, so this dress was actually a 24 um, in the size. I thought the hearts looked quite nice with it. But yeah, nice and relaxed and cotton. There's the shoes, new look, brand new. 
quite nice and comfy. Right, and here's the next one. This was a sort of unknown quantity. I mean, I picked it up and I wasn't sure, but I really, really like it on. Um, it was a much bigger size. It's a 26. The skirt's probably a little bit too big for me, to say the least. It's, I probably might take in the back of it a little bit. Um, but the blue in the... It's blue and sort of beige. And beige is not a colour I would have normally worn. But I'm not used to being so fair in colouring since I lost all my black hair. Um, but this works on me, I think. And it works with that necklace that I got in the Rio... Um, recycling place um and i think it's quite interesting it was it was only seven pounds fifty for both the skirt and the top together um which i thought was very very reasonable it was the half price day i put them again with the the shoes i bought in glastonbury the the um clear fronted nude heeled shoes um and all in all i think it's actually a really nice outfit i have been invited to a wedding and it might just be that this is what i wear i think i need to get a little bit more of a tan um and it will look quite nice so yes very pleased with that i think the necklace really works with it very well and then as you can see the lace is sort of beige and blue never a colour I would have worn before absolutely not but now my hair is blue and, and pale it actually looks all right on me right next outfit now this is the, my disaster of the day I thought this top was absolutely beautiful I love the colours in it it's sort of satin it's exotic it's monsoon which you know everybody loves a bit of monsoon um, it costs six pounds fifty but it doesn't fit me. It's way, way too small. I thought going for an 18 was a bit of a brave choice, but I thought that it might just cross over a little bit further than it did. Um, but it's okay. Somebody will buy this on Vinted and absolutely love it. It is really gorgeous. And if you're having like a sort of 70s revival kind of thing, it would look amazing. So you can see why I thought it would be lovely. Because it's... Um, gorgeous anyway so my necklace this is the one I bought last week and I found it had a stone missing and so I stuck a little white stone in and because I needed it to be grey I just used a permanent felt pen to colour over the white stone to make it grey wash bag mine's broken the zip's gone this is cotton club 3 dollars um, I got this from the RSBCA very very happy with it does the job thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends to subscribe if they haven't. Thank you for your comments. Always appreciated. Love to have a little talk. Catch you later.